today for this gentleman to go home. First, you want to clean the area with a little alcohol so that the adhesive pad that holds the monitor in place will stick. The heart monitor, you're going to wear it for a total of two weeks. Each patch that um, is placed on here will stay on for seven days. So the patch that I'm putting on right now will stay on for seven days and will get changed when you come back for your post-op visit in a week Okay. in the doctor's office. Mind if I use your lap here sure. for my table? Okay. So when you open the kit, we have four patches in here. The kit is set up for four weeks, but we're only going to do it for two weeks. I'm going to open a patch, and you see it's labeled one, two, three, four. Those are the steps, or the order of the steps to put it on. And the blue arrow here has to be facing up underneath the patient's collarbone, and it has to be put on at a 45 degree angle. And in order to figure how that's done, you find the patient's collarbone, the arrow needs to be facing up, and the tail end, your anatomical landmarks are the patient's nipple and the axilla area. It needs to be sitting in between those two areas, and that's how you know you have it set up at a 45 degree angle. So I have enough room there, I've cleaned the area. So now I'm gonna take off label number one. So label number one is for the heart monitor itself. This is just the patch that holds it in place. So this little blue thing is a monitor found there in the box. I'm gonna peel off label number one. You wanna make sure the electrodes on the back are lined up with the electrodes there or the shape is able to fit in like a, a jigsaw puzzle. You fit it in the way it's shaped and it might be a little hard to get in and you have to manipulate it to get it in. Once you get it in, you'll know it's connected when the green light comes on. It won't stay on, but as long as you see that green light, you know that you have the connection. So now I'm going to go back and make sure I line this up correctly. I'm going to take off label number two. So in order to make sure this sticks correctly, you have to now hold it in place and use your hand to warm it up for at least 30 seconds to one minute. And it kind of melts the adhesive, warms it up so that it stays in place. So you hold that on for 30 seconds to a minute. So you will be able to take a shower with this patch on. Just can't immerse it in a tub of water, no swimming, no hot tubs, okay. no baths. But definitely take a shower. The water can uh, wash over it. Don't let it beat directly on it because it will loosen up the patch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. When you're out of the shower, pat dry. And you don't want to be taking a bath for at least another two weeks till your incisions heal anyway so you don't introduce any bacteria into the site. Okay. All right, so I think it's been about a minute at least 30 seconds anyway. So now I'm going to take off number three. Number three there, and I just lift and peel. And you can see that this is halfway between his nipple and his axilla. And I'm going to um, ask you to check his baseline and we um, sent a is one seven two one three zero four eight nine four and the serial number can be found on the side of the box thank you thank you so serial the serial number is on the kit okay so we were going to show you can you put the leg down for me oh sorry you're my table <laughs> so you have a self-addressed mailer here you can drop this, oops, 
You can drop this off either at the post office or UPS, whichever one is more convenient. Oh, okay. And you're going to put the entire box and its contents inside the mailer. Okay. All right. One other thing. So, this is fully charged at the moment, but you want to charge it every night. Oh, okay. It's like a cell phone in that respect. Same, yeah. So you plug that in there and you put that, plug that into the wall. And that is under here. So, you can um, charge it at night. If you get up to go. Sorry, say that again. So we're going to return it on the 27th. So instructions are here. I already set it up for you. Now LifeWatch might call you if they're not seeing good connectivity. Okay. So it's an 800 number. Just remember to pick it up. Yeah. Um, if they call you and they see, so they're getting the readings and then they'll call the doctor's office if there's anything abnormal okay. or out of the ordinary. If it's something life-threatening, they might call you directly and say call 911. Uh -huh. You might not be feeling symptoms, but they're basing it based on the heart rhythm they're seeing. Whatever they read, yeah. So whatever they tell you to do, do it. Okay. If the nurse calls you and say go to the ER now or call 911, please go. Okay. You might f think, oh, I'm feeling fine, but go. Go, yeah. Okay? okay. All right. Um, remember, do not participate in any strenuous physical activity. Please walk. Um, don't lift anything heavier than 10 pounds. No driving for this first week. We don't want you to pop the seal on your groin. Right. Bay Area traffic, you Dr. know. Dr. Watch. Dr. Watch. Said two, two weeks. weeks. Okay. <laughs> so he's being cautious. Um, and if you have any shortness of breath, chest pain, dizziness, record your event, but also call the doctor's office. Okay. All right. And... Do you have any questions for me? So it said on that sheet that you gave me to call when we get home, but you already, already called. Okay. Yes, so already sure called because you have a quite a drive, and yeah, I didn't so. want anything to happen on <laughs> gotcha. the way. So, okay. all right. So you, pretty okay. much just keep it in his pocket like he would a cell yes. phone would be the best thing yes. to do. So, um, so you have a case, you can put it, clip it on your belt, loop it through your oh. belt, or just stick it in your pocket. Oh yeah. So we can put that in there for you, your new best friend for the next two weeks. Okay. <laughs> All right, hang on to that. And remember to bring this um, yeah, with you to the doctor's office. That's what I was going to say. Yes. I'm assuming they're going to want to put that patch back. So that they can put the patch on. In case there's not good connectivity, it will beep. And it will, I hear it's annoying enough to keep you awake. <laughs> yeah, if it's so. like the day before you're coming in for your appointment, don't worry too much about it. But instructions are here that I just went through on how to replace the patch. Oh, okay. gotcha. If it's really that annoying. Sure. All right? But LifeWatch will most likely call you to say we're not getting a good right. signal. Yeah, so, so. Okay. These are the extra. These are extra pads, and he has to take the kit with him when he comes back for his post-up appointment so they can change the patch in the office. And they'll just take the patch off and put the monitor in the new patch. Oh, okay. Okay? Why would they change? They change, it they change this day? patch every seven days. Every seven days. So it lasts seven days. Yeah. yeah. All right? Your new best friend? Oh, I'll take it over here. I have a bag. Oh, you do? Okay. 